Hi. I am Ava from Mini Orange. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the Mini Orange Admin Dashboard and its functionality which provides seamless user experience and better responsive navigation. First, we will need an account with Mini Orange to access the Admin Dashboard. To create an account, follow the link displayed on the screen or you can also click on the link mentioned in the description of this video. To set up your account just visit login.zakurify.com and log in using the credentials provided in the email. You are logged into the admin dashboard. The dashboard has features to popular setup, information library to watch popular demos and answer your most frequently asked questions. And lastly a few basic features that allow you to set up the service and get started in minutes. You can set up, manage and view different settings in the admin panel by using the left hand navigation bar. Let's take a look at these sections and options covered under it. First let's go the identity provider section. An identity provider, also known as IDP, is a service that stores and verifies user identity. When a user logs into an application, service provider requests authorization from the appropriate identity provider or IDP. IDP performs the authentication that the end user is who they say they are, and sends that data to the service provider along with the user's access rights for the service. Service provider now grants the authorization to the user. With Mini Orange, you can configure multiple IDPs like ADFS, Google, Facebook, Azure, and many more. This allows the users to authenticate with different IDPs based on the domain name in their email address. Here you can add an identity provider by clicking on the Add Identity Provider button. We have multiple protocol support like Simul, OAuth 2.0, OpenID Connect, and CAS to connect with an identity provider. Here, you can easily set up an IDP by filling the field with the required information or by importing the, the metadata. Now let's go to the User Store section. To create a user store, click on the Add User Store button. We have support for different types of user stores like Microsoft Active Directory, Azure AD, Open LDAP, AWS Cognito, ConnectWise, Databases, API, Radius, and many more. You can also use Mini Orange as a user directory to authenticate users present in Mini Orange. Now let's go to the App section. Mini Orange helps you to enable SSO into a wide variety of 5000 plus pre integrated applications for cloud, on premise, desktop, and mobile applications via popular SSO protocols like Simul, OAuth 2.0, OpenID Connect, JWT, WS Fed, and many more. Here the app section, shows a list of all the configured applications and options to modify them. To add an application, click on the Add Application button. Select the application type from here. And set up the application quickly and effortlessly. Each SSO protocol offers a wide variety of pre-integrated apps to choose from. Here, you can search for your application from the list. If your application is not found, search for custom, and you can set up your application using custom Simul app. Here, fill in all the required details to set up your application. Now let's have a look at policies section. This section allows you to define and assign access policies to all the configured apps. You can add a policy to the required app for all users or for a specific group of users. It offer admins and authentication setups to provide the appropriate security required for organizations. Here in the View Policy section, you can edit the policies of the configured apps. And in the Add Policy section, you can add a policy for a required app, by filling all the details. Here in this section, MiniOrange provides different login methods. With Password. And Password Less Method. In With Password Type Login Method, user has the option of enabling either two-factor or adaptive authentication. If two-factor authentication is enabled, user is directly prompted for the 2FA after entering the email ID and password. If adaptive authentication is enabled, user has the option of enabling these features and selecting the login policy from the drop-down for users and groups as per the requirement. In password-less login method, user will be directly prompted for 2FA after entering the email ID and no password is required. User has many 2FA options that we will discuss later in this video. Now let's take a look at the customization section. The complete user experience for sign up and authentication flow, UI aspects of layout, look and feel, branding, internationalization, RTL support etc. can be managed from here and more. 
you can set up your own dashboard look and feel using menu management and user sign up fields. Now let's go to the two-factor authentication section. Two-factor authentication is a two-step verification security process in which a user has to present username and password along with other factors like smartphone, security token, OTP, to gain access to an account or a computer system. Mini Orange provides easy-to-use two-factor authentication for secure login to your site. It replaces insecure passwords and adds a second layer of security to your site access which is easy to set up for any developer or user. Mini Orange Authentication Service works with all phone types, from landlines to smartphone platforms. From here, you can choose from over 15 plus authentication methods which include QR code authentication, push notification, OTP over SMS and email, Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Hardware Token and many more. Now let's go to the Adaptive Authentication section. Adaptive authentication, also called as risk-based authentication, is an advanced form of multi-factor authentication that prompts different authentication factors counting on the behavior. Device IP, geolocation of the user, which directly makes security level to the very best. Mini Orange Adaptive Authentication provides an additional layer of security and access control to cloud or on-premise. Here there are two sections. In the View Policy section, you can edit the default or existing policy of your application. And in Add Policy section, you can set up following features from here. First IP Restriction Configuration. Where the admin can set up a list of IP addresses, to allow or deny access on, and when a user tries to log in into any of the applications, configured with adaptive authentication. Second, Device Restriction Configuration where the admin allows end-users to add a fixed number of devices as trusted devices for their account. Third, Location Restriction Configuration, where the admin can set up a list of locations where he wants to allow end-users to either log in or deny based on the conditions set by the admin. Fourth, Time Restriction Configuration, where the admin can set up a time zone with start and end time for that time zone. Fifth, Action for Behavior Change, where admin can enable one of the these possible actions for adaptive authentication policy. Sixth, Notification and Alert Message Configuration. This section handles the notifications and alerts related to the adaptive authentication. Send Email Alerts subsection allows us to enable or disable alerts for admin and end users. Now let's take a look at Provisioning section. When you wish to manage accounts for users or at an organization level, then Mini Orange provisioning features come into play. Let's try and set up provisioning for a particular application listed here. Now for the selected application, you can perform provisioning features, such as create or delete user, password sync, etc. for your users. You can perform the same provisioning features for your groups as well. You can also import users from the chosen applications. And import groups from the selected applications as well. The users and groups will be automatically provisioned and deprovisioned in Mini Orange when they are created or modified in your application and vice versa. Now let's have a look at Manage section. Features under this section allows you to manage individual users, groups and view usage reports. In the user section, you can add, modify or delete users and their roles and capabilities. And in the group section you can create groups or manage users individually under a shared trait, add custom fields, attributes for an existing group or export those groups. I hope I was able to familiarize you with the mini orange admin panel. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at securify.com for any other question.